Whatever, I was just commanding the zone really well with all three pitches. Uh, I was able to just work away and just get them to roll over stuff and let my defense work, so. You heard me ask Coach about it, but just how much has your breaking stuff just kind of progressed from the time you stepped on campus to now? It's, been, it's a lot. It's just more, I'm not saying anything that sharper stuff, it's just the command of the zone. If I'm able to throw one back door, just kind of go away with it, just being able to throw it in any count and be comfortable with it. Just what did you see out of Chase today on the mound? I know he kind of struggled there, but was able to somewhat bounce um, back. I just think it wasn't his dad. I think he goes up there and competes every day, and we all know how good of a competitor he is and how good of a pitcher he is. And yeah, I think um, he's going to come back next week better than ever. How cool has it been able to watch this pitching staff success so far this season, especially without some of the guys who are down right now? I mean, it's awesome. I always get mad at Sean because I feel like um, during the Fridays, he comes out and just shoves. And it's like, I'm like, Sean, I just want to pitch a little bit. So, <laughs> but no, it's awesome to see all of them succeed. I mean, that's where the, the staff, I mean, that's where the team starts is the pitching staff. And if you compete out there, then it usually translates to the bats. What have you seen from the freshman pitchers, like Christian and Mark? They've been ultra impressive back in the midweek games earlier this week. A maturity. I know when I was a freshman, I wasn't as poised as they were, or just as confident. Um, their stuff is really good, but they go out there and they know that they're going to be able to compete with anybody. What do you think the difference is from this year's hot start to last year's hot start? I think the difference is uh, last year we were kind of shocked to win. This year we expect it. So um, we go out there and I, we don't think anybody can beat us. What's kind of something that you're looking to improve on throughout the week when, when you're not pitching in the bullpen, which you're kind of playing around with? Um, right now, it's just the same thing, working with the curveball, kind of spotting up. Every week's just staying healthy, just being able to um, get as many innings out of me as possible. What does it say about the team? Um, kind of, you have a slow start. There's a lot of miscues. You kind of just take control of the game, ended up winning by four runs. I mean, I think it kind of shows who we are. I mean, throughout the year, um, just any situation we've had, if we start to, like if it's a workout, it starts out kind of slow, we always find a way to bounce back the next day or the next inning. So just kind of, it's kind of who we are as a team right now. Obviously you guys don't want to ever get down in games, but is it kind of important for the young guys to see having to come from behind and win games instead of just yeah, always for cruising? Yeah, for sure. If, I feel like if you have a season you're just never behind, you don't know how to play from behind. So I don't think it's the worst thing to ever have a couple games like this, especially with the bats we have and the, um, just the defense. I mean, our defense has been really well, and we've been swinging the bats really good. Your perspective on Drew Gilbert as a spark plug on, on your team? Oh, my goodness. It's in the locker room, on the field, outside of baseball. I mean, the guy, if, if you just knew him, you'd know his character and the kind of teammate he is. It's, it's awesome, just all around.